Hey, what's up guys? This is a quick jet tips and beginner's guide uh, video for you. I'm going to have my webcam showing in one of the corners of the screen and show you, you know, what I'm doing with my hands while this is all going on. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do, and I'm going to keep this short and sweet guys, is to switch out to your third person view using C that toggles between cockpit and outside view and then you're going to want to take off. Now the take off is W combined with moving your uh, flaps to you know make you go up into the air and you can do that by bringing the mouse down like that. So I'm just going to demonstrate that now and take off. You can use shift as well if you're in a hurry so I'll do that and we're off the ground just like that. Now, to turn, you can make minor adjustments using A and D, but it also distorts your aim, as you can see. Um, if I went to the cockpit, you can see that the actual aiming dot is away from the crosshair. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't work as well, which is why you need to use the uh, actual proper turning. Now, to do a proper roll turn, you can do so by moving your mouse to the side, either side, let's just go to the right for now, to roll the jet, and then bringing your mouse down, just like that. And we're back into the field of play. Now, you'll notice that I did a wide arc, like a wide turn. That's because I'm boosting in the jet. The wider your arc will be depends on the speed your jet is going. If I turn off the boosters and hold S to slow the engines, then I'll do a nice, you know, quick turn. If I speed up, the turn becomes wider and shorter. Just like that. Uh, that's about or when it comes to maneuverability. Uh, just hypothetically, if you have a jet tailing you and you need to evade him, you're gonna wanna be doing short turns. I mean, this is a little bit more advanced because it's moving out of the realm of actual control on your jet and actual, you know, being attacked by things and trying to evade them. But you wanna do short turns and nearly run into as many things as possible. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to hit things, but you want to make him hit things, or just think that you're not a uh, smart target to pursue. And just, you know, keep running around and flying erratically to the point where he can't be bothered and he goes after something else. These are a particularly good thing to fly around, because they're hard to judge. Uh, judging distance is kind of hard in a jet, but it can be done. Uh, and just to finish off this bit of a movement tutorial, landing is very easy. You just bring your jet into a slow with the S. I'm just going to turn around and land on the runway. But with the S, use the S key to bring your jet to a slow. And just bring it into land. Wait for the wheels. And I'm sure I overshot the runway, but the principle's the same. <laughs> and just like that and to take off again, or if you accidentally miss your landing, your boost, your boosters are your best bet. I'll, let, let's just say hypothetically, I botch a landing. I'm not gonna land where I want. Let me just slow. I'm not gonna land where I want. I'm gonna land on top of some mountain. Everything's going wrong. Oh no, oh no, boost. Boost and the W key and you'll get back up into the air straight away. And I think that's about it for now, guys. Uh, I'll move into the realm of actually playing offensively in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, leave us a like and a favorite and tell your friends if they're having trouble and stuff. So, yeah, this is Merc out.